Robert Pollard here. I'd like to talk to you today about the, the power of God's presence, the presence of God and how important it is for us as believers. I want to take you through a journey uh, into the Bible, uh, starting in the book of 1 Samuel, where uh, you read about Eli. And Eli was a priest, the high priest for the Israelites in that time. And he had two sons, uh, Pinias and Hophni. And Pinias and Ophni were serving in the, the temple, uh, in the tabernacle, as um, priests. And they, you can tell by the things that they did that they had no reverence or uh, respect for the Lord. Um, they had no personal relationship with the Lord. And um, because their father was the high priest, they thought they were entitled to certain, uh, uh, you know, things. And um, they had certain rights. Um, and that was actually a, a really bad attitude that they had. And you can go read for yourself in the book of 1 Samuel chapters 1 to 5. So what happened was that the Philistines were fighting against the Israelites. And Pinyas and Ophni decided that it would be a good idea to take the, the, uh, the, the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord into the war as they had done in the past and because that was the place where the promises of God were kept and also where the, the presence of God stayed, the, 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 the manifest presence, the glory stayed. And um, the problem is when they took this uh, ark into the war and the Philistines saw it, they said, listen, now we really need to fight because their God is in their midst. And the Philistines came at them even harder. And the sad thing is that because the priests had no relationship with the Lord, the Lord did not assist. His power was not present. His, his, his presence was not there to save the Israelites this time. And they lost. And the, the messenger came back and Eli said, what is the news? And the messenger said to him, they've lost and the altar is, uh, the, 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 the ark is taken and your sons have been killed. And Eli fell backwards and broke his neck. And um, at that same time, the, one of the sons, a uh, wife who was uh, pregnant, also immediately gave labor. And she called the child Ichabod, which means the glory has departed. Uh, when we fast forward to the book of Acts, we read in Acts 19 about the sons of Sceva, who was also a priest, and they were, therefore, um, because they were his sons, they thought they were entitled to do certain ministerial tasks, and uh, they went to this um, man that was possessed, and using the name of Jesus, just like Pinias and, and um, uh, Hophni, his brother, carried the Ark of the Covenant and thought that the Lord was with them, even though they had no relationship with the Lord. These seven sons went to this demon-possessed man and they said to him, We adjure you by the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches. So you can see there's no personal relationship with Jesus. Um, we adjure you by the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches. Uh, that you come out of this person. And the demon laughed at them and he said, well, you know, I know Jesus and I'm, I've heard of Paul, but who are you? And the end result is that the guys were, um, you know, badly beaten. They ran out of the place naked. Uh, they were totally humiliated. And why am I sharing this with you? When you read Exodus 33, Moses says to the Lord, he says, Lord, if you don't go, if you don't go with us, we're not going. And we can't afford to be a Ichabod generation. We can't afford to be a generation that are trying to attempt things on our own, by our own merits, by our own strengths, with our own uh, talents, with our own um, uh, uh, charisma. We need the presence of God. We need to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit. And the presence of God will back us up to do great exploits for the kingdom. The Bible says in Acts 10 verse 39 that God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. The power of God is in his presence and God loves to back his sons and daughters up for the advancement of the kingdom.